Welcome, everyone, to the Joubert Mansion. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, try not to do an intro. This enormous, isolated house is home to Barrett Joubert, someone we all know very well, his beautiful wife Letitia, and their children. And everyone is very excited because tonight the family leaves for vacation. You may recall Barrett digging around in the yard of the old asylum many years ago while heavily pregnant with his alien daughter Alfie. He dug up the map to a mysterious pagoda in the shadows. After years of research, he's concluded that something important is there and he's got to take the wife and kids along to find it. So welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to be back and filming more episodes for the next season of Asylum, everyone. And I decided I wanted to kind of warm up and get in the zone by filming this little vacation bonus episode, so I hope you like it. Barrett seems awfully busy to be about to leave for vacation, but, you know, I guess he's just finishing up some very important last minute work. I regret to inform you that our evil old pal has not suddenly uh, turned over a new leaf and become an amazing guy. And of course, Barrett's lovely wife, Letitia. Letitia's quite excited for the family to all be together on vacation. Here we have little Serena. She's much older than the last time we saw her when she was very frighteningly floating around in the air. She luckily got over that. It was just a phase for her. Uh, we worked it all out. I do believe she's currently doing Alfie's homework, which might tell you a little bit about their dynamic. Alfie's up here in her cozy little attic room. I had really sort of imagined that Alfie was going to be the very kind, sympathetic, lost character in Serena. Her younger non-alien sister would be kind of like more of the mean bully. But then I looked at uh, Alfie's personality. Zero nice points, but super active and playful. So just like boundless energy to be cruel and evil with. Then I randomized her traits. She got brave, neurotic, and evil. <laughs> That's like super villain territory right there. I was like, hmm, maybe Alfie's not gonna be who I had sort of imagined her to be in my head. You know, you gotta go with it. And then when I looked at Serena's personality, she's extremely shy, but so nice. Her traits are brave, neurotic, and absent-minded. And I thought that was kind of crazy that they both rolled two of the same traits. But yeah, Serena definitely ended up being the more sensitive one. But, huh, here's someone who's not a familiar face. Oh, good God, take it easy. This is little Cyril. Oh, he's, he's quite a handful. Yes, yeah, Cyril is the youngest member of the family. And as for the story of his birth, well, we will just have to get to that another time. And with that brief intro, it's time to set off on our fabulous vacation. Takamizu Village, here we come. And I would love to give you all a little preview of the Joubert family's um, absolutely, tragically incredible vacation shirts that I have made custom for them. I was at, <laughs> I was at a theme park not too long ago. All these people, like there'd be a family with like 40 people there and all their shirts would say like, such and such family vacation to blah blah land. I'm the step grandma's cousin. Like everyone had their special name on it. I thought it was incredible. And I knew the family needed shirts just like that for their vacation. Although, um, yeah, looking back, should not have made the shirt the exact color of Alfie's skin. I did not realize that I was doing that at the time. But it says, danger. Joubert family vacay in progress. Wow, wow, wow. And we'll just pop around to the back real quick. And everyone has their own special label. I'm dad. I'm mom. I'm number one. I'm number two. It's just about birth order, girls. It's not a value judgment. And I'm baby. So now they're all ready to go and have an absolutely wonderful vacation in their matching duds. And this way, you know, we won't get confused. We won't think that anyone's in our family who's not. We won't take another kid home by mistake and think they're our child because they won't have the shirts. We'll be like, um, where are the shirts at? So don't lose your shirt or you won't be left back in the house. And uh, without further ado, let's get into this beautiful family vacation to Takamizu Village. Do you mind? I'm actually kind of trying to give an intro. 
All right, let's see, where should we stay? So I am using the redecorated lots. They're all by Plum Tales. I think we're gonna stay at Jade's exclusive villas, honey. I just redecorated a little bit, but I also added this nursery. So we definitely need to rent this one. And then we also wanna reserve this one. This is going to be Alfie and Serena's room. Okay, excuse me, sir, thanks for checking in. By the way, I hear the hermit has a story to tell for those cunning enough to find him. What white lotus kind of shit is this? Let's go check out our uh, new suite. Well, first of all, who has the baby? Oh, okay. Ooh, they're so in sync. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. They're doing their choreographed dance. He's like, I do not care what my kids are up to. Nobody tell me. Uh, careful, sir, sir. You are very close to kicking my baby. Take it easy, boat shoes. Oh my, get out of here. Oh, perfect, exactly what I wanted. He's just coming over to sleep on the dog bed. Oh my God. Come here often, terrifying hairy man. Chandler Greaves. Now that is the name of a wandering serial killer. I'm gonna tell you that right now. And that is the facial hair of a man on the run. All right, the girls, oh wow, kids eat free? Um, if kids eat free, you guys are getting the chirashi. Darling, don't talk to the balding man. Eat your free chirashi. Wait, did that just minus $25? I would like to point out it said $0 on the, uh, and excuse me? Ooh, it's gonna be okay. Thank you, sir. You know, they said this was supposed to be free. Young lady, that looks like ramen. That looks like extremely expensive top ramen with hot dogs in it. Cyril knows we're paying like 2,500 bucks a night for this hotel and they put mineral water in the toilets. He's trying to get his money's worth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Whoa. Kids in The Sims like are obsessed with plumbing. Oh, I've been on vacation for one day and the baby already smells like crap. I'm a successful, thriving woman. I feel great. I'm having the best vacation. Let's check out the park. You guys have left the baby behind. Good job. He's always been able to make it on his own. He's an independent little guy. <laughs> this vacation was worth every penny, he says. Well, easy for you to say. It's coming right out of your college fund. She wants a soda, but this girl won't get out of the way. Hey, get out of the way. Hmm. Orange soda. Feels like vacation. My mom does a lovely drink soda. I don't know which one to get. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, help yourself, Mr. Moneybags. Hanging out in the Cartier store. Drinking Fanta. With your kind of like 60s housewife haircut. I'm obsessed with this haircut. <laughs> kid it's like the funniest hairstyle for a child to have i want all my sims kids to have kind of big crazy vintage hairstyles now he hasn't even decided yet knocks everyone's tiles off oh shit i'm about to cheat oh sorry i'm not cheating this one that looks like a sad cherry who's like hey don't eat me what are you up to Oh my god, look at her. She's so precocious. I'm ready for Vegas. Deal me in, Jim. By the way, how's your divorce going? How's poor little sweet baby doing? Oh no, just a baby in a soda. This dude's obsessed with this grass. After all this time and he's still just mostly afraid of the death of Whitney. Whee! Ah, that's what we think of your park. Give it to him. Just give him the bottle. And you can figure it out. Wow. No son of mine is gonna be handed everything in life. We'll be the family in the green shirts. Wow, no one can handle the table with the kid. Ooh, we got another kid in the mix. The under 12 Mahjong tournament. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Love my family. You may have noticed us. We're the ones in the green shirts. Hi, Kendall. Do you have a family? Oh, you do? Where's your shirts? Okay, everyone's exhausted. Let's get the heck out of here. Leave nothing but footprints. Take nothing but memories. Mm. 
Oh no, she's dead. Oh my, don't kick your sister in the head, please. I've always taught him to be resourceful, to make his own fun. Excuse me, Mr. Damien Wade. He's like, I come here all the time, but they usually call the cops on me for hanging out naked in the hot tub. <laughs> I've been in jail 10 times for going in this hot tub naked. This guy's like, get me out of here. Oh, they have, they'll be here any minute now. All right. Well, I took the family to the pool at the resort because Jade's Villas doesn't have a pool. Well, Barrett is an evil man, and I think a historic, I don't know, which sounds like the most boring and evil to take your kids on. Probably a historic walking tour. A bamboo forest probably has like cool monkey. Ooh, okay, he loves the bellhop. Zach Platts. <laughs> It's a pretty good name. Take a guided walk through some of the ancient, historic, and most popular destinations in the region. It will cost $100 per person. Good God, this is highway robbery. Yes, of course I want to go. Oh no, okay, Leticia, darn, she wants to go on a tour, but she has to stay because otherwise the baby will be here alone. And I don't really know. Well, she wanted to go. I, he's old enough to take care of himself. All right, Cyril, now you work on your SAT prep book. We'll be back in four hours. Oh, did I put a toddler bed in here? I thought I did. And by that, I mean I'm gonna put a pet bed. <laughs> oh, wow. Not feeling confident about these eyes. Oh, wow. Oh, I'll take you on a tour. A tour of the end of the world. Where's my family? Wow. Ooh. Aw, be snuggled and be tickled. And he wants to reach charisma level seven. Good God. That freaks me out. Imagine the idea of like an almost max charisma toddler. You're like, you want some goldfish? Oh God. The tour group has been left in an ancient temple and given time to reflect upon the huge stone de deities built there. There are two main gods represented in the temple, wealth and nature, and the group only has time to visit one of them. What should they visit? Well, Barrett, fortune, aspiration, we're going wealth. Oh no! The wealth god's grove is teeming with poison ivy. You know what will cheer Barrett up? Having a torrid vacation love affair with Zach Platts. You don't know what's in store for you. He's like, why did these people leave a baby here? Ah, Serena, how nice. Ooh. You know what, Cyril? You had the best idea not going on that walking tour. He was like, I'm going on a crawling tour right over to my dog bed. I like that it looks like it's like two shrimp, 10 mint leaves on a bed of like cream of wheat. All right, let's go back to the hotel. Brutal, love getting back. Just, oh, by the way, we charged you $2,500. What are you talking about? Yeah, like our, the bellboys, you just, oh, it's Zach. Zach, baby, you're busy. <laughs> Is this dude in freaking naked in the hot tub again? Damien, Wade, you're traumatizing my children. I'm gonna sue the crap out of you, bro. Take your wife to a nice 10 p.m. romantic dinner. And uh, hopefully we're allowed to just leave the kids here. I'm gonna be so annoyed if it's like, you can't leave your kids unattended while you go, but it's like, we're on vacation. Ooh, the white suit with the tails. Come on now. <laughs> No one is gonna do anything about this dude. Bear, you gotta defend your family and fight this naked guy. He's ruining your entire vacation. Every time we come out of our rooms, he's just like, hey, yeah, I mean, I just recommend it. You feel so free, you feel so liberated. You know, we really live in a culture that just, it's just skin, it's just bodies. Like, bro, you're ruining my vacation. I got kids here and I'm trying to abandon them and go on a date. Oh, well, I wanted to go on a date with her to a place. I think this place has a restaurant. Barrett should probably take Letitia out for a beautiful dinner, buy us some jewelry. There are certain things about his children and their origin that he might not know of yet. So he still in his heart feels the desire to build a beautiful relationship with his wife. Love it, beautiful, beautiful. I love the sauna 
in the restaurant. <laughs> Hi, I'm me. I went to college. I majored in waitress services. So just rest assured you're getting the most professional care tonight. Okay, he wants a chef salad. What do you want, Letitia? I've never seen them in a restaurant. Nectarine tartlet. I guess like we kind of are just eating in a fancy mall food court. It's not really like a romantic restaurant. Can I help you, Viola Carlson? Like we're basically sitting at a fancy little like lobster roll place in the mall. Oh, he wants to make a toast. Oh, give a toast to her. Wow. A toast to child abandonment. That girl's head angle was terrifying. Yeah, now I just want to watch these sweaty people. If I put the walls up, then I'm too close. All right, sweaties it is. Play, play, blah, blah, blah. Where's the food? Oh, she is about to starve to death on our date. How's it going back here, ladies? Time is running out. Yeah, well, they won't give me my food. How long does it take to make a good tartlet in this town? Oh, no. Well, actually, wait, I'm so. <laughs> they're both my Sims. They can't leave unless I tell them to. Oh, God, but she is starving to death. Okay, we need to be seated. <laughs> Oh, um, okay, great, honey. It, yeah. Yeah, I like it here, too. See, the whole thing about uni earlier, she was trying to explain. She was like, no, 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 I'm a performance art major. This is my piece called Waitress Food Court. 5.41 a.m. Oh, my God, it's 5.41 a.m.? No wonder they never brought our food. Ooh. She's calling the hostage negotiator. Everyone's thinking about going to college. Looking at these two, they're like, God, I, I really need to work on myself. Because look at them. They've got it all figured out. <laughs> beep, beep. Whoa, whoa. Oh, interesting. She's afraid Nolan will die. Okay, uh, we've all had an amazingly, amazing, wonderful time. Daddy's sweating out that lobster roll, but it's time to get home. Oh, they're extremely tired. They should go to bed at least for a bit. I wonder if the kids could go do something. Go take your brother to the park. Barrett has this tattered map to Pagoda in the Shadows. There's someone there who might be able to teach Alfie an important skill that Barrett has been instructed to have her learn. Oh, there he is, <laughs> Damian Wade. He tricks you. We're in a swimsuit now, but don't trust him, folks. Where are you going, Damian? Getting a drink. Uh, no, sir. We're talking about you, okay? Not me. He's like, I'll have some uh, whiskey nude. <laughs> are you excited to go to the pagoda with your father? All right, take Alfie. But she's the only one. Ah! I'm scared. You have traveled a long road, but seeing is not knowing. Humility is the first step. Oh, oh is he gonna have tea with us? That's so nice. Ask to join. Have some tea with us. Again. He's like, ooh, this old bladder is the size of a lentil, my dear. He's like, now where did you get those absolutely darling shirts? The first step is humility. The second step is making me one of those shirts. She's afraid that Cyril will die. That's so dark. Why are, why are you worried about that? Hey, come back and have more tea. He's like, oh. Ooh, join Tai Chi. I want to join. Oh my god, I'm dead. I wish this was not her athletic outfit. It's so silly. It's funny that he has a bar. You seem to po ooh! You seem to possess the grace and elegance necessary to bear the legend. Okay, there was a lady in a town. Barrett, do you freaking mind? <laughs> something with a dragon. She made an offering or something. Let's get Barrett out here. Oh no. And the dragon took care of all the bad guys. He blew them away. Love it. The secret is yours. Use it well. What did she get? Ancient dragon legend scroll. Only those who possess this scroll can tell the legend. 
Well, what do I want to tell a legend for? Alfie, I did not take you here to teach you how to be a great storyteller. It's a valuable skill, but, you know, there's a big military contract riding on this uh, class with this guy, okay? Serena's going to be so pissed when she finds out I can tell the legend of the dragon and she can't. Dude, this guy's name is Nut a lot. That's... And this facial hair and that name... I would just like uh, to make very clear to the team at Maxis is unacceptable. Aww. Yo, remix. Rafi Baby Beluga remix, baby. Yo, pop that shit! Serena, give, uh, give Chandler Greaves his space. He's absolutely terrifying. He looks like he's been living out somewhere in the forest writing a manifesto. <laughs> sisters, sisters. Now I'm always on bathing suit duty. Now I feel like the creep. Like you gentlemen decent. <laughs> this music. Yep, that's me. Back for another hot dog ramen. Thank you kindly, chef. That swoob, that swoob is hot. Ooh. Whoa, what the? No! Oh, no. Oh, no, there's only one day left in our vacation. No, uh, I want to learn how to bring and teleport. What? Kids can't shop? Kids can't shop, and you call this a democracy. I wonder if... <laughs> oh my Ooh, whoa hairline hairline mishap back there kids should be able to throw a coin into the shrine like who cares they're like this level of spiritual responsibilities it's too much all right back at the hotel and i realized i looked it up i was like i thought the guy was supposed to teach her like crazy ninja stuff but apparently uh, <laughs> spoiler, you have to actually meet the ninja to learn ninja stuff. You might not know that. Barrett and Alfie, 6 a.m., we've only got one day left. They've got to get going. We haven't gone to the Zen Garden, so maybe, I don't know, maybe he'll be there. Wake up! Wake up and come learn your military training while your stinky siblings rest. It's like, how do I know if the ninja comes? Does it tell me? Oh, whoa, he's right there! Wait, what? What the f- Where'd he go? Oh my god, do I just like have to keep leaving and coming back until the ninja comes? Take the kid to get some food, and then guess what? We're coming right back here. Oh, Barrett wants to learn how to make chirashi. How does he learn how to do that, though? I'm sure people feel like- <laughs> notice that I'm very useless at many mechanisms of this game because- I mean, this past year's the first time I played it since I was probably- 13 or 14 and back then you know i i would make a family and they would like never ever leave the house because i could not stand loading screens and they were so long back in the day i would never i would never go to community lots i would never do anything except live one family in a house for i don't know like seven hours playing until i got bored of them oh oh my gosh what, how would i ever see him here are you kidding me this man is gonna teach you everything you need to know. Don't, 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 don't! Are you kidding? Sims 2 is the Dark Souls of games. Okay, fine, you guys can do go take a nap, but I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it at all. Okay, no. <laughs> no, sir, we said, we said not anymore. Daddy's got a carbo load before he beats the heck out of this naked man. I don't want to know about how much time is left on my vacation. I want to destroy this nude man. Ooh, yeah. Throw a drink on him. Oh, but he loves him. Drink number two. Get back here! I want to fight you naked. Or I don't want to fight you naked. Or maybe Barrett does. <laughs> No, we're going back to the freaking Zen Garden. 
because everything in my life is a mess. Aww. <laughs> All right, here we are back at our favorite place for the 10th time today. This lot is so, so beautiful but I almost want to go in from neighborhood mode and get rid of all the trees so that this dude got nowhere to hide. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, gee, you're sweet. You want to learn? Oh, God. Uh... uh. No! No, 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 no! Okay, <laughs> all right, time to go to the freaking food mart. Please, can I learn and do it good, please? Oh God! What? Ooh! Yeah, you've learned the secret technique of teleportation. Ooh! Ooh! I want to scare the tour guide, or I wonder if he'll get scared. Let's see. He doesn't care. How did your weapons training go, Alfie? Shut up! All this girl wants to do is watch movies. She can watch a scary movie. Because no one's supervising her. Why, sir? Barrett is the one responsible for the absolute state of this bathroom. He's like, this is where I go do all my dirty work so I don't mess up my lovely suite. Impress your daughter. Show her that mama still knows how to kick a little butt. Good job. <laughs> That's all for me. Hey, you want to watch a movie with me? It's got a lot of nudity. Ventrilo fart this dude. Ooh, sucks to be you. Be poked. No one's, no one's poking my wife. Yeah, right, bro. Tonight a DJ watch me fight. Hey, stop, you're blocking my fight. Ooh. No! You guys, we don't have a leg to stand on fighting Damien if you guys are out here being publicly indecent. Okay, great, we've made a public embarrassment out of ourselves. I want a successful fight with this man. Ooh, this is a good fighting song. <laughs> now it's really a family vacation. Honey, get him. Go for his eyes. Come on. Yeah! Okay. You better freaking goose your hubby for that one. Victory goose. Yeah. They're always talking about Solange. <laughs> there is no justice in this world. That's a stupid ass outfit to do Tai Chi in. And finally, we are at the last few moments of our vacation. And the old ball and chain, you know, I need a drink. 9 a.m., baby. This is their song. Wow, you look. You look beautiful, Alan. No! Time to go! Alan, I didn't expect to have to say goodbye so soon. Oh, he's like, finally I can relax. <laughs> Thank you for a wonderful vacation. Whoa! Oh my god. 14 grand, baby. Okay, someone get the child. He wants to use the amenities, please. What a wonderful trip. Dang it. I'm sorry, you have got to be kidding me. I'm trying to get a good shot of the family in their matching t-shirts and Damien Wade, the nude, what, what? did that freaking lap of the house he said i took your paper and now i'm running through the entire f sorry for this terrible shot i did not realize that this man is just a part of our lives now 
while my poor helpless family is here stuck on their OMSPs because I want to freaking get some shots with their t-shirts. And Damien Wade. Ugh, more like, damn, damn, we are wading into a sea of inappropriate nudity on my family vacation. Okay, never mind, that's enough.